with Cant dead, Ficta didn't want um, his legacy to be that of a failure, especially since Ficta had basically um, bet all his money on Kant's philosophy and was his student. And the world knew that um, Ficta was his mentor. Or he was, you know, that, that Kant was Ficta's mentor. So, essentially, Ficta went back and thought about the idea that Aristotle, who talked about the hero's journey, who talked about life, he um, basically was saying, well, every life has the essence of all life. So does that mean that every life is the same? Well, hold on a second. He also said that every story has the essence of every story. He said everything has the essence of everything. So Ficht looked at that and thought, well, hmm, if that's true, then what was the most important point in Kant's life? when he discovered that there was a black swan. But he only knew that at the end of his life, when he could look backwards and say, that was the most important point of my life. So, Fichte then started working on the idea that a life can be structured and that you, there will be a most important point in your life, but you won't know when it is. And only storytellers and narrators who are basically planning the life of a fictional character. The Hero's Journey, Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell is a great read. Um, what he started to think about and realize and put forward was the idea that the narrator can decide when the most important point of the story is for the protagonist. So... While that's not true in real life, that's true of every story. So he put together, on the back of Aristotle's hero's journey, every hero's journey has the essence of every hero's journey. A beginning, a middle, and an end. It has an antagonist, somebody providing the conflict. There's a sort of you know, amount of time before the conflict or the antagonist enters to create the conflict. And then there's this rising action until you get to the climax of the story or the most important part of the story. Now, for some people, that's at the end of Act 2, and so some people, it's in the middle of Act 3 when the conflict is resolved. So is the most important thing that happens the fact that there's a conflict resolved, or is it something else? So that's what Fick did. And when he did that, notable academics, Joseph Campbell, for example, who also wrote something called The Art of Fiction, which is worth reading. He also wrote Grendel, which is, you know, the Beowulf myth from the monster's perspective. Um, it's worth understanding that most people, William Goldman, M. Night Shyamalan, Steven Spielberg, and everybody else that you can think of. I mean, I learned it from Danny O'Neill. That this is about the three-act structure. But every character has an arc. And that's why we sit and watch films and read books and relate to characters, whether they be main characters or background characters or periphery characters or the antagonist. It doesn't make a difference. The point is, it's because their arc resembles ours. And we recognize that. Because we recognize the touch points and we recognize the things that are happening to them. <laughs>